Voilà. So, Mr. Tarika, could you tell me, uh, could you speak to me about the problem of fake? We speak at the end, the fact that there's no fake in this exhibition. Yes, this is uh, one of the very, very rare exhibitions of Picardia, which is at the same time uh, very uh, exhaustive and without any, any fake. And, uh, there are, uh, and uh, the exhibition in its first, let's speak about the exhibition. The exhibition in itself is superb, it's the most beautiful and perfect exhibition of Picardia I have ever seen. And uh, the uh, chronology of his works is respected, but also the chronology of his works is respected. The development of his artistic career is not uh, compartimented. Uh, and there is a, a, fluidity of, uh, a fluidity of the showing of uh, the development of, of his uh, career, of his artistic career. Enfin, all together, the exhibition is really superb and some exhibition to see and I don't think uh, it will be possible to see another Picabia exhibition of this class for the next 30 years, of, uh, in my generation at least. So, but now going back to the problem of fakes, the, uh, the fakes which have been around for so many years and which have been, uh, and many of them being displayed in so many exhibitions, whether from museums or whether from private exhibitions, private gallery exhibitions, the, uh, the solution, the, uh, most of the fakes I suppose are coming from Beltraki. Because really? absolutely, if you leave, if you read the, the memoir of Beltraki, which was published in German and in French, and translated in French uh, recently, you will see that uh, you will read, you will read that uh, the widow, no, not the widow, the wife. I'm sorry, the wife of Beltraki acknowledged herself that she visited the widow of Picardia with a painting uh, done by his husband, the burden by her husband, to be authenticated and that uh, at one point, at one moment, uh, that she was speaking with the widow, the latest, uh, with the, the last widow, Olga, she was uh, embarrassed, she felt, she, feel embar she, felt, uh, she felt embarrassed, she felt embarrassed, because, uh, because uh, the widow was making a panegyric of uh, Picardia works, and, uh, the, and Mrs. Uh, Beltraki knew very well, and that's what she states in the memoirs, that she, the widow, had already authenticated a large number of works of fakes done by Beltraki. It's written. So, but Beltraki, even before Beltraki, there was some fake with Picabia. Even Picabia did some fake. No, Picabia didn't do any fakes. Picabia <laughs> did remakes. That's yes. completely different. Of you course. Know, because what happened and that is that, at, uh, unlike for, many, for several other artists, well known artists, after the Second World War, the few people interested in acquiring Picabia's works were only wanting Picabia of the Dada period. And either he had no left, or either he, enfin, whatever, or whatever happened, enfin, he made remakes to satisfy the, uh, the acquisition, uh, the desire of the few customers that were at that time. And notably, uh, a, a dealer, Mrs. Collinet, who had a gallery at that time, and who was the first wife of uh, André Breton, and who was also perfectly honest, she, she acquired directly from Picabia uh, some works which uh, she sold to some customers and uh, which are remakes. And I think that uh, this is the case, for instance, of one remake which, uh, is, which is an oil on canvas with collage, dated by Picabia, signed and dated by Picabia, uh, 1924, uh, big size painting with collage, famous allumette, woman with matches, which is today the property of uh, the Art Institute of Chicago, and which I demonstrated to be a remake of the late 40s. And this painting, I think the provenance of this painting is that it came directly after the war from Picabia to Mrs. Collinet, and Mrs. Collinet sold it to a collector called Bernard Barman, who had a very important surrealist collection, surrealist and Dada collection, and I acquired works from him, as a matter of fact, many, many years ago, and uh, who, after his death, and the death of his wife, 
part of the collection, including this painting, was given to the Art Institute of Chicago. And this painting, which is signed and dated 1924 by Picabia, is reproduced and cataloged everywhere as 1924 or 1927, I don't remember 1924 to 1927. All the art historians uh, reproduce it and catalog it as of the, the surrealist, early surrealist period or Dada period. Mm -hmm. And I demonstrated uh, that it was in fact a, a late uh, 40s painting because uh, I saw it already from a reproduction in the books. Uh, that it was uh, that it was dating from the late 40s, and so I had some uh, contact to prove it. I had some contact with Mr. Schulman, who at that time was the curator in charge of the 20th century uh, art department at the Art Institute of Chicago, and I asked him to send me a transparency. I explained him that I thought the painting was not 24, 27, as uh, stated everywhere by everybody, but in fact it was uh, late 40s, and I asked him, could you please send me a photo, a color transparency of this painting, which he did. The, the, the Bergman Bergman were already dead, and the painting was already owned by the Art Institute of Chicago. And from the transparency, I saw that uh, uh, most of the blue the blue is the background, the whole background of the painting is blue painted, is painted with the blue. Most of this blue was including a kind of blue called bleu de, the bleu de phthalostylene, which is a blue that, uh, which is a pigment that was invented, that was discovered by E.G. Farben in the early 30s and commercialized in the late 30s in Deutschland, in Germany. Wow. Yeah. And so, uh, because you see modern pigments, it's but this painting, this painting is in the exhibition. Or? No, they haven't taken it. Uh, that's the number. That's the first painting that they have not taken because of uh, this. Uh, because there's a painting with two dates too. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Because Picabia, in fact, reworked also paintings. He painted over old paintings and he, uh, old paintings that are done by him previously and he reworked also many other paintings for instance and in also the put and also put fake dates and also put wrong fake dates exactly like in the case of for instance of so picabia's subject is a very complex is very complex right yes it's yes it's complex in, I, I, it, it, in fact yes it's complex it's complex and there is another 